How's it going, fellow traders? It's Magic Trader here, and this is the CFTC report for April 9th, 2019. Here's a snapshot of the data that was recorded as of that date. And so let's take a look at what we have with gold. So taking a look at gold, we can see what has been uh, taking place over the last few weeks. So we know that price has hit supply. We know that they've been taking profits on their long positions, which is what we've been expecting for some time. We see that they added some long here to cause price to move up. And then since then, a drop. And then this latest week, we have an increase in longs again. But you have to take a look at what this data represents. It represents this week of trading here. And if you see, longs have been added. And what happened with price? Price went up. Okay, so what is taking place now? Now we see that price is slowly turning over. Okay, yes, they also closed off some shorts. But at the end of the day, what is taking place here? Three weeks ago, they were at 119,000 net positions. Now they're at 105. So at the end of the day, they are reducing their long exposure. And this is what we are expecting. Also, if you take a look at the sentiment, even though longs are greater than shorts, okay, even though longs are greater than shorts, take a look at the coloration of the cells. It's a bit bearish. Neutral is this. Bearish is where we're at right now. So there's a bearish sentiment. We've hit supply. We're seeing some profit taking and everything is looking like the way it should be. All right. So now we go on to oil. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we see this big, tall green candle and we see that they are once again adding to their longs. So again, completely in line with what we've been expecting. And if you take a look at this here, look at the sentiment, very bullish. Okay. Now there is a difference between what they used to be at here to what they are here. And the difference being is they're more well situated for a move like this. So you see they're becoming a little bit overextended with their uh, bullishness, which means eventually there's going to have to be some profits taken. And that's exactly what I'm expecting to see happen on the charts. So everything is looking as we were expecting. And now we have the dollar and on the dollar we see a slight decline in longs and a slight decline in shorts. Not much to see as price was consolidating here at the weekly tested supply. Bottom line is they're a little bit more neutral than they have been previously, but that's okay. We're still waiting for the big move and there's nothing else much to say about the dollar at this point. Then we take a look at the Aussie and we see that the Aussie has increased their shorts and they also increased their longs. Okay. Bottom line is still very bearish with the sentiment. We see a little bit of a breakout sort of thing trying to take place here at the, at the uh, descending weekly trend line. But at the end of the day, they're still very bearish. And now we go on to the US CAD. And we can see that there's been a slight decline in longs and a slight increase in shorts. Bottom line is still bullish, not as bullish as they were here, but still bullish. All right. Taking a look at the US Swiss franc, we had this move up on the weekly chart, which was an increase in long positions and long exposure jumps up to 83%. Okay, so even though they're at 83%, they still can go up higher. All right, look at the coloration of the cells here. Look at what they were here back in August. There's still a lot of room to add to long positions. Euro US dollar still with the same uh, analysis. We see that they're very strong with their shorts. Okay, short exposure is the leader. A little bit more bearish than they were back here, you can tell. And look at these numbers. Net positions, negative 102,000. Okay. And now we look at the pound US dollar. This is the most difficult one to read. Pretty much neutral. Neutral. There's no direction on here. 
slightly uh, bearish bias, but sentiment is neutral. So nothing more to see on this one. U.S. dollar Japanese yen. We have an increase in longs from 83 to 91,000, which is nice. That causes long exposure to jump up from 80 to 82 percent. You can see the coloration here as opposed to here, so you, you know that there is a lot more room for them to add. And we see an increase in that position. So everything is in line with a bigger move to the upside. And then we have the Kiwi dollar. Uh, decline on the longs, decline on the shorts, a little bit more neutral here, slightly bearish. Until one of these doors open, we can't decide on the direction, but it's likely it's going to be down. All right. So that's your CFTC report for April 9th, 2019. Have a great day.